guys, it's Megan. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my body products that I have currently in my Rediscovering What I Own series. And so I'm going to do body lotion, body wash, and body scrubs in this video. So first I'm going to share with you where I keep all these and then I'll set them out and show them to you all. So my body lotions I keep here, which is, here's my bed. And this is usually like the background you see in my videos. And then on top of these drawers that I keep my long sleeve shirts and sweaters in, um, I have a little thing that has all of my body moisturizers. Then, next to my bed, on my bedside table, ooh, I'm also going to show you my hand creams, which I keep them next to my bed. And then I keep a lotion um, at my bedside as well. So that is my lotions. And then if we go into my bathroom... This is where I keep all of my body washes in our cabinet. So um, this on this side is all like hair stuff, which I don't use. Um, just my sister uses that. And then here and over are my body washes. So I have quite a few of those. Then in my shower, I keep two on the go. And behind here, I keep a scrub. And finally, my extra body scrubs are down here. So I'm going to pull all these out, set them out for you guys, and we're going to go over them. Okay, you guys, so I have set out my lotions over here, hand creams in this container, then my scrubs here, and then all my body lotions on that side. So we'll start with my body lotions. And this is kind of like a self-tanner as well. It's the Saint-Tropez Instant Glow Body Lotion. And this is like a, it's like an instant tanner basically, but it doesn't like gradually tan your skin. It just like tints it. This one I haven't used yet. It's not open. Um, but I have one of these in my travel bag as well. And it's just like a brown glowy lotion. So if I'm like going out to eat or it's the summertime and I want to look extra tan because I don't really get tan a lot. Um, I'll apply some of this and it's really, really nice. The lotion I'm currently using is the Black Amethyst Body Lotion from Bath & Body Works. This is just a small travel size and uh, yeah, so I'm working on that right now. I also have a small size of the Laura Mercier, um, what is this? Amber Vanille Souffle Body Cream. And this is just a tiny tiny size um i haven't tried this yet but this smells incredible and i've heard really good things about laura mercier body products so i'm really excited to try that i have this philosophy sugary cinnamon icing body lotion and i love their body lotions they're really nice and moisturizing and like luxurious feeling and this one smells great like um cookies kind of <laughs> so i like that one this is not really a body moisturizer that I use, but when my hands get really dry, I love to use this Equate Therapeutic Moisturizing Cream. It's like the Eucerin um, cream, and I've had this for years, and I've only used like a little bit of it. This stuff is super, super effective. It's amazing, and I love to have this on hand, and this will last me forever. I have this pink Oh What Fun body lotion, and this was from their winter collection this year. I'm so excited to use this because this is one of my favorite scents that Victoria's Secret Pink offers, and I love the packaging this year, so I can't wait to use that one. This is kind of a science experiment for me. This is the Deep Steep Argan Dry Body Oil in Fig and Apricot. This smells amazing, and this is just like a spray body oil and I thought that it would be really fun. I got it at Marshall's and um, the scent was so incredible I had to give it a shot. So I haven't tried it yet but I think it'll be really nice in the spring and summer when I don't want to really wear like heavy lotion but I still want to be moisturized. I think this will be awesome for then. I have this Burt's Bees Richly Replenishing a Body Lotion with co co Cocoa and Kapuku, I have no idea how to say that, um, butters. So it's just like a basic lotion. I haven't, 
I don't know if I've ever used this, but um, this is one I'm going to use next. It's very lightly fragranced, um, but I think that it'll be a good moisturizer, so I'm excited to try that one. This is my favorite scent ever. It's the Caldrea Vanilla Lemon Hand Lotion, um, but we weren't since I ran out of the soap of this scent, I asked my mom if I could have the lotion because I just adore the scent and you it's like not available anymore. So I'm going to use this one up slowly but surely and uh, it's probably getting old so I need to use that up this year. And finally for body lotions is the Body Shop Vineyard Peach Body Lotion and this is just like an average size and the Vineyard Peach scent from the Body Shop is one of my absolute favorite scents of all time so I'm excited to have that one. Alright next for hand creams I don't have a ton but I have more than I would like. Um, this one I've had for a really long time it's the Neutrogena Norwegian Formula hand cream and this is really really effective stuff but it like it makes your hands really sticky when you use it because it's kind of like petroleum jelly like I, I can't remember the ingredients in it but it's like this really thick like jelly cream sort of consistency and it really does the job but it just makes your hands kind of sticky for a while and uh I don't know. I don't think I would repurchase this one necessarily. Um, what I would recommend for really dry hands, other than the U Equate, which I think is awesome, is the Waxoline, which is a um, natural alternative to petroleum jelly. And this stuff is so awesome. I've used quite a bit of it. I don't love the scent, so I use this. Like, I use a little dab of this and really massage it into my hands and then I'll put a really nice smelling hand cream on top of it and it's just awesome. The ingredient list is super short and um, it's just organic soy oil, oil beeswax, and blah, 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 vitamin E oil and rosemary oil. So it's, it's just awesome. We sell it at Bed Bath & Beyond and I love it. Okay, I have three of the Philosophy hand creams left. I have Peppermint Stick, um, Spice Gingerbread Cookie, and Fresh Cream. All of them I really like the scent of. Peppermint Stick I think is my favorite, um, and that's the one I'm using now, but I do like all of them. Uh, Philosophy hand creams just aren't very moisturizing. They're kind of a thinner formula, but they do smell hella good, so um, yeah. Then I use the um, First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream as a hand moisturizer. This is just like a, it's not their full size, this one's just like in a squeezy tube, but I really like the packaging of this for a hand cream, and uh, I love this. This is really, really effective, and I would repurchase it for hand cream. And finally, I have this Crowdtrain Evelyn Citron Honey and Coriander Hand Cream. This is one I got as a free gift from a, a um, Nordstrom order. This is my favorite Crabtree and Evelyn scent. I bought my mom a hand cream of this scent like years ago and I don't even know if she's used it up yet because she likes it as well and it's really expensive. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use this or if I'm going to give this to her but um, this is a really really nice smelling hand cream. I don't think these necessarily moisturize my hands super well but the scent is awesome. Okay, moving on to scrubs. This is the one I'm currently using, um, and it's getting, like, wetness all over everything. This is the Island Paradise Pineapple Mango Exotic Exfoliating Sugar Sp Scrub, and, uh, I'm about, I don't know, I'm almost done with it. It's really leaking everywhere. Um, this is nice, but I probably wouldn't repurchase it, um, again, and I bought that at Marshall's. Alright, so continuing with my body scrubs, I only have two other ones. First is the Vineyard Peach from The Body Shop. This is my favorite body scrub that I've tried. It's their creamy body scrub, and the scent is amazing, and I really like the texture of it, how it's kind of like moisturizing, but still really effective. So I'm excited to use this one because I've I haven't had this for a few months, so I'm excited about that one. And the Tree Hub Hut Shea Sugar Scrub in Coconut Lime. This is talked about so much on YouTube, and I'm so excited to finally try it out for myself. And all the scents in this line are super nice, but I picked this one, and it's kind of like a greenish teal color. And I haven't tried it yet, so I'm really, really excited too. Alright, moving on to my body washes. 
and I had way way more than this before I started my project use it up I used all the ones up that I had in my stash except for all of my dial yogurt vanilla honey nourishing body wash so I'm using one currently and the reason I have so many is because my grandma bought me and my sister these every single time she saw us like two years ago so I have let me just show you guys I have six of these still um so I have these six and then the one that I'm working on so it has taken so long to even make that much of a dent and um, it's really nice I use it now mostly for shaving my legs which is great um, because it's a more moisturizing body wash but I will be so so happy when I never have to see this again so I'm using that one currently and then my current body wash is the um, philosophy cranberry twirl and I sort it upside down because I don't have much left and this scent is okay but I realize I don't really like philosophy body washes that much so I'll be excited um, when that one's done as it falls because it's mad that I don't love it as much as I thought I would um, then I also have cinnamon twirl I got these in a gift set and this one smells really really nice like your baking cookies and then pumpkin twirl which smells amazing this would be obviously perfect for fall time but I'm really excited to use it um, probably in the spring or near the end of winter so those should be good smelling and then this is the spiced gingerbread cookie which goes with the sugary cinnamon icing body lotion these came as a set this year and so I'm going to use those in conjunction with each other and I'm really excited because they both smell amazing I have this little size of the molten brown black peppercorn body wash and um I've heard like really good things about molten brown and I'm not sure if I would spend this much on a shower gel but I've spent a lot of money on other random crap before so you never know but I'm excited to try this one. This I can't wait to use. This is the um, pink oh what fun in the two-in-one wash and scrub. So this comes in like a squeezy bottle and it's that same scent that I said I really love and it's like a scrub and body wash in one I don't know if you can tell but it's like a giant giant thing like this is humongous and um, I love this scent and I've always wanted to try one of these two-in-one scrubs but I didn't allow myself to buy one until I used all of my body washes up from last year so I can't wait to use that one of my favorite body washes ever is the soft soap body butter coconut scrub and this is like a scrub and wash in one I'm not so sold on body scrubs like they can get pretty expensive and you can make them yourself pretty easily with just sugar but um this I really love this coconut scrub it smells amazing it's really cheap because it's soft soap and this is one I've used for years so I can't wait to use that one again and then the final ones I have are all from Anna and she gave me these Eve Rocher um creamy body washes and uh, so the one I'm most excited about is the coffee bean one. So this is the coffee beans from Brazil Creamy Velvety Shower Cream from Eve Rocher. Then she sent me the macadamia nuts from Guatemala Velvety Shower Cream. And finally, the purple rice from Laos. Um, this one's called Soft Shower Cream, so I don't know if there's a difference. But the... Oh my gosh, this one I'm so excited for. The coffee one. It smells literally like a coffee shop. It is amazing. So I cannot wait to use that. So those are all of my body products. And I just really wanted to film this to remind myself how much I still have to get through. And most of this is new as of a few months ago so that makes me feel better because before I had stuff from years and years ago and I used all that up last year so I'm really proud of that but I still have to work on not accumulating so many to have all at once like this is a few months worth of product and I don't need to like continue to add to a stockpile or something. So um, this is just kind of a reminder to myself and also um, 
just to show you guys what I own currently and hopefully when I do something like this next year I will only have a few body washes and a few lotions at a time and uh, yeah so I hope you guys are still enjoying this series and I hope you all have had a wonderful day I'll see you guys really soon bye